Here are a few simple tips to working with phyllo pastry. As soon as you take it out of the packet, place it on a sheet of baking paper with a tea towel underneath. Phyllo pastry tends to dry out very quickly and very easily, so you want to make sure that it stays nice and moist the entire time you're working with it. So once you've laid it out, place another sheet of baking paper on top and cover that with a damp tea towel. And that will ensure that while you're working with the pastry, it doesn't dry out. So you want to work with one sheet of pastry at a time. Brush the pastry with your butter or oil if you're using oil, making sure to get right to the edges. Cover with another sheet of phyllo. You don't need to worry too much about any wrinkles, but try to keep it a little bit in line and keep buttering and layering. As you get a few more layers stacked up, it becomes a little bit more stable, so it doesn't slide around quite as easily. To make the cheese, olive and tomato triangles, cut your sheet of phyllo into three long strips. Place a little bit of the mixture at the end of one of the strips and fold over to create a triangle. 